Hey guys, more than likely you're here because you want to know how to make this cinnamon pecan coffee cake. This is so moist. It is so tasty. I promise you, you don't need another coffee cake recipe. This will be your go-to. And if you have been trying my recipes on my channel, you know, if you've been rocking with me, that I usually don't ever let you down. So let's get into it. Let me show you it up close. It has some drizzle on it. And it is layered with cinnamon and stuff in the middle. And when I tell you this is moist and decadent, stay tuned so we can make it. Hey guys, so we got the stuff prepared and ready so I can tell you all the ingredients and they will also be below. But before we do that, let's get started by heating up our oven to 350 and then beginning to prepare this tasty coffee cake. All right. Alright guys, being that this is voiceover, you gotta work with me. We're gonna need one stick of butter that has set out and become softened. We're also gonna need eight ounces of cream cheese that has softened as well. Then we're gonna have one cup of tightly packed brown sugar. That means to just measure it out really even in your cup and make sure it's packed down tightly. Then we're gonna need one half a cup of regular granulated sugar. Then we're going to need two large eggs. Then we're gonna move on to the vanilla, one and a half teaspoon of vanilla imitation or extract is your choice. Imitation is always less expensive. Two and a half cups of all purpose flour. And then we're gonna need two teaspoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of cornstarch. Then we're gonna move over to my DIY buttermilk. I'll try to link below. This is made by me and I'll show you how to do it so you save money because a lot of times you buy that quart and you don't use it all. These are optional. This is one cup of chopped pecans. If you don't eat them, you don't need them. And I forgot to add a half a teaspoon of salt. Now we're gonna move over to the things that are needed to make the swirl in the middle. All you're gonna need is a half a cup of sugar, granulated sugar, and a tablespoon of cinnamon. So that's what you see in that bowl. Then the next is going to be the streusel. That is the topping on the top, that coffee cake looking stuff. We're gonna need one and one third cup of flour. And then we're gonna need three and four cups of brown sugar, three fourth cup of brown sugar, I'm sorry. And then you're going to need two tablespoons of sugar. So I have the white sugar and brown sugar in one bowl. Then we have one tablespoon of cinnamon. And then we have one fourth teaspoon of salt. And I use Himalayan salt. And we need one stick of melted butter, guys. So those are all the ingredients. Make sure to see them below and let's get started. So using the mixture of your choice, you're gonna take the butter and the cream cheese and you're going to mix them together in a large bowl until they are creamed. You want them well creamed together and then you move on to the next thing in the recipe. So once this is creamed together, the next thing you're going to do is beat in your sugar until it's light and fluffy. So I'm just gonna cream those together really good. And as you see, it looks nice and creamy. So now we're going to beat in our sugars, both of the sugars until nice and fluffy. You wanna make sure you do this because this will help incorporate the sugars into the actual recipe very well because this is a nice amount of sugar. So you wanna beat this very well and it'll start to get not just creamy, but it'll start to fluff up and you'll see exactly what I mean. Now, once this gets to a nice fluffy consistency, it is time for you to put your eggs in. You guys know I like to take those white things out of my eggs, so they are already cracked and ready to go into this fluffy concoction. And you can do one at a time. You can pour them all in at one time. I mean, it really does. I've never seen a difference in a recipe if I let them go all in one time because I make sure to blend them very well. So now you want to combine these by blending them very well and making sure you're scraping down the sides of your bowl and then we're going to go to the next step. Now 
Now, a lot of you like these longer videos because it's like you can see the whole process and bake with me. So that's why I try to do some short and some long to, you know, try to appease the ones who want certain videos. So now that it's nice and incorporated, you're going to scrape it down, as I stated. And then once you do that, you're going to add in your extract. I tell you guys this stuff is amazing it's a dollar a dollar tree and i just use a little bit more than i would if i was using an extract and i promise you my baked goods still come out amazing trust me go get you a couple bottles from dollar tree now you're going to take another bowl and what you're going to do in this bowl is whisk together your flour baking powder cornstarch and your salt they're all going to be mixed together in this actual bowl I know it didn't look like I put it in there, but I had to edit and stop. I end up putting it in there and forgetting to record because I had to keep stopping. This was a really long video. So the salt is in there. So once you combine those dry ingredients, now you're going to take the dry ingredients and put them inside the bowl with the wet ingredients. Now the key here is to just incorporate the dry slowly but surely into the wet ingredients. You don't want to do it all in one time. And what I'm doing is a stir and fold. So I'm stirring and folding to incorporate the dry into the wet. And as you see, it is mixing very well. And at this point is where you would add your buttermilk. So you want to add a little bit of buttermilk at a time and continue to stir and fold the actual flour with the wet ingredients. There's just something about bacon to me. It is just like a beautiful thing. Um, and being that I'm voicing over, you can't hear what I'm saying. But yeah, it is just so relaxing. It's so relaxing to me to bake and to watch the process and come out with something so tasty and making people that you love smile because of the love that you put into your baking. I don't know about you guys, but it's so relaxing and it's so beautiful to watch someone bake and go through the process of making something to create a whole different concoction. It is just beautiful. And then if I'm trying to follow the recipe, I can actually make sure I'm doing it right because they're taking the time to go through the recipe and cook with me. I love it. Now here comes the fun part. It is time to take your pan. Now I did take this pan and I put some uh, grapeseed oil and some flour in it just to give it a nonstick surface. And now this is where you're going to do the magic work. So you only want to put a little of this into the pan first because you're going to put that concoction of the uh, sugar and cinnamon in the middle. The actual swirl goes in the middle before you put the rest of it on top of the rest of the batter on top of the first layer that you put down so you're going to just basically put all of the cinnamon sugar you're going to whisk the cinnamon sugar together and sprinkle it evenly over this batter so that's what's getting ready to happen right now Now remember the pecans are optional, but you definitely want to whisk the sugars together and then you're going to evenly put them, as I said, in the middle. But I'm going to be putting a little bit of the cinnamon and sugar and the pecans. I love pecans and walnuts. It's just nothing like it in your cinnamon rolls, your coffee cakes and stuff. Oh, oh my gosh. Give it to me. I'll take it. All right. I will take it. 
And this right here, guys, I promise you, just like you like my sweet potato bread, a lot of you, you are going to be like, girl, I'm never going to make another coffee cake or buy another coffee cake ever. So now that you've sprinkled that in the middle, um, you're going to add the rest on the top and just smooth it out like you see here. Now it's time to make the streusel. Now what you're going to do is take the melted butter and all of the items and just put them in one bowl basically you're going to take everything and put it in one bowl after you have incorporated the sugars the actual cinnamon and the salt and the flour you're going to mix all that together and it's going to make like a little crumbly concoction especially when you add the actual butter but right now I'm adding my pecans which I said is optional and I'm gonna add the butter and once you see it mix you'll see it'll create a streusel concoction and that is it guys after you make the streusel concoction you're gonna mix that up really well to make the streusel concoction and then you're gonna put it on top of this batter and we are there we are there we are there it is time okay it is time that smell in the oven i wish it was a candle that smelled just like this because it is so freaking amazing so yeah there you have it that's what you want it to look like crumbly and then you're gonna just put this all on top of the batter guys all on top just sprinkle it all over and it's going to actually cover it's more than enough to cover and there we have it and into the oven it goes all right let's go get it into the oven all right, so into the oven it goes, guys, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. The smells are going to make you fall in love with this bread. You're going to set the temperature for 45 degrees. Now, if you don't know if it's done, you take a toothpick, which you're getting ready to see me do now because it looks golden. You stick the toothpick in. If it comes out clean, you are ready to go, and it is ready, okay? You want to let it cool for at least about 30, 45 minutes and go from there. And let's go to the next step. All right, guys, so now that it is um, a little bit cooled down, I've been letting it sit for about 15 minutes. I made it glaze, and I'm going to put the link below on the glaze. This is optional, but I like to put a glaze over mine, so that's what I'm getting ready to do. All right, so that's what it looks like, and yeah, I'm going to let this cool some more and then cut it open so you can see it. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to cut this bad boy open. When I tell you I had me some coffee and I ate some of this and I was eating it with milk, it was amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I definitely enjoyed making it and I enjoyed sharing it with you. And yeah, share it with friends, share it with family because this is going to be something you definitely put in your recipe box. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe bell and that's how you join my family. And if you have any questions, leave them below. And if they there's nothing else, guys. I will see you guys later, Gators. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. And make sure you let me know if you made it, how you like it, and how your family loved it. Thank you, guys.